there's so many applications of digital pathology that I'll just I'll just name a few of the obvious ones. Really, once you have the image, you you're opened up to a world of possibilities with that digital image. Uh, some of the main ones that we focus on as pathologists include the ability to review cases remotely. So at a computer monitor with an internet connection, we can gain access to any of our digitized cases. The second application is being able to consult our colleagues. Oftentimes in practice uh, these days, we're sitting alone uh, in different locations and having the ability to instantaneously have a colleague review uh, one of our cases by reviewing the digital image uh, is extremely helpful and allows uh, for increased, uh, improved turnaround times for, for getting our diagnosis out the door uh, quicker to, the, to our clinician colleagues who require uh, getting the information for patient treatment. Uh, the third area is being able to submit cases for second opinions digitally. There are now uh, numerous laboratories, reference laboratories, who will accept cases digitally uh, whereby their experts uh, can review those cases in digital form without ever having to receive a FedEx package of, of glass slides, turn again, turn those cases around very quickly. Uh, in the area of image analysis, digital pathology uh, offers an extremely powerful tool. Uh, not only uh, can you, uh, with the digital image, provide a quantitative uh, analysis of images, uh, you can then increase reproducibility between pathologists and overall accuracy. One of the most uh, powerful applications of digital pathology is for the support of remote frozen sections. That is when a, a pathologist is covering a hospital uh, that is located somewhere else, physically somewhere else, and that pathologist would traditionally have to drive to that location to perform the frozen section. Um, with digital pathology, that pathologist can now have a technician at that remote site uh, cut the tissue, uh, prepare the slide and digitize that slide and then make that available digitally for review by the pathologist. Uh, and that really opens up uh, time for that pathologist, prevents him from having to spend a couple hours driving, waiting for the frozen section. This can be extremely time consuming and can increase economic efficiencies. A pathologist is not just a diagnostician. I view the role of a pathologist as one of a working partner for an oncologist, for a clinician. A working partner that allows a shared space to do diagnosis, to do staging of the disease, and to come up with the right course of therapy for the patient. Now for this working partnership to happen, there has to be a platform on which these two partners collaborate. Digital pathology is that platform. 